Today I am trying to explain the SCCM 2012 site-to-site -site communication concept. So you can understand the concept within 2-3 minutes. How it works. In a SCCM hierarchy, each site communicates with its parent site and its direct child sites by using two different data transfer methods, file-based replication and database replication. File-based replication It includes contents such as applications and packages that you want to deploy to distribution points and file-based replication uses the server message block protocol by using TCP IP 445 port. Database replication Database replication uses SQL Server to transfer data. Database replication is automatically configured by all configuration manager sites. The database replication service uses SQL Server change tracking to monitor the local site database for changes, and then replicates those changes to other sites by using a SQL Server service broker. This process uses the TCP IP port 4022. Database replication divides data into two. Global data and site data. Global data refers to administrator-created objects. Examples of global data include software deployments, software updates, collection definitions, and role-based administration security scopes. Site data refers to operational information. Examples of site data include hardware inventory data, status messages, alerts, and the results from query-based collections. Each replication group has a separate, fixed replication schedule that determines how frequently changes to the data in the group is replicated to other sites. Also each replication group is a collection of tables. Here consider the software inventory and metering replication group. It contains 11 tables as shown. For more videos, like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And also visit www.titanfratutorials.com